All right, language. The way in which people develop language across time is universal. However, there is a debate about how people acquire syntax, rules, and grammar. So that's where we're going to go into. But before we get there, before we can go there, uh, we need to do some definitions. Uh, so phonology refers to the actual sound of speech. Uh, an example is German sounds very harsh and Spanish sounds very uh, smooth. And so that's phonology, the actual sound of the speech. Morphology refers to the building blocks of words such as rules for pluralization, past tense, and so forth. So let's say the base word is uh, fight. Uh, I can change the morphology by saying fighting. I can change the morphology by saying fighters. You know, that ER, or that ING, that's changing the morphology when I add that on. That's morphology. Semantics refers to the meanings of words. Um, you know, what do the words actually mean? What does identity mean? Identity is how we view ourselves in terms of both internal and external factors. That's the definition of the world, word, semantics. And syntax refers to the rules of dictating word order. Uh, I think that's very clear. You know, does the word, you know, does the article come before or after the verb or, you know, this, that, the third? Okay, you get the idea. Phonology refers to the actual sound of speech. Uh, morphology refers to the building blocks of words, such as rules for pluralization, past tense, and so forth. Semantics refers to the meaning of the word, and syntax refers to the rules for dictating word order. Okay, so language development. There's three major theories on how people acquire syntax rules and grammar. Uh, and again, this is all about thought and emotion, Now, This is language development. There's three major theories. There's the learning behaviorist theory of language, there's the nativist theory of language, and the, the interactionist theory of language development. And we're going to go through these. So the first one, we're going to go through learning behaviors theory of language. Um, excuse me. It argues that a language is a form of behavior and is just learned through operant conditioning. It, it has, is associated with positive and negative reinforcement and focuses on environmental reinforcement rather than on innate ability, which is what the nativist theory is all about. So again, this is all about operant conditioning. That's why I have this little mice here. Um, so, continuing, the nativist theory of language development emphasizes, well, it proposes that language development is innately human, okay, and that all people have a neural cognitive system, the so-called language acquisition device, or the LAD, which allows for learning of syntax and grammar, and it emphasizes an innate biological uh, mechanism, okay, we have this, we're born with this, we don't need any inputs from the outside world, that's what the nativist theory is all, is all about, we would learn this regardless if we had inputs from anyone else. Innate biological model, the la language acquisition device. Okay, that's the nativist theory of language development. And uh, the third one is the interactionist theory of language development. I hope you see what I'm doing with the colors here. It says it emphasizes the interplay between environmental cues and innate biology in the development of language. And it argued that the human brain develops so that it can be receptive to new language development in order to communicate and socialize. It's saying interaction is it's saying that we, in order for us to interact, our brain uh, develops in order to be receptive to language, to be able to interact with other people. But it emphasizes environmental and innate biological interplay. It says that we need the environment and the brain in order to develop language. Otherwise, we have, if we don't have one or we don't have the other, we're not going to develop language. So that's the interactionist theory of language development. It essentially puts these two together. <clears throat> okay? Again, the three major theories. The learning behavior theory of language. Emphasize environmental reinforcement, okay? Operant conditioning. Positive and negative reinforcement. Positive is you're adding something to the situation. Negative is you're taking something away. Positive reinforcement would be you give somebody a cupcake for doing a good deed. Negative reinforcement would be you remove... Uh, it's essentially uh, avoidance behavior. In order to avoid your mother nagging you, uh, you take out the trash. Uh, that would be negative reinforcement. Uh, the nativist theory of language development is emphasize the innate biological mechanisms, okay? And uh, the interaction theory of language development emphasize the environmental and innate biological interplay. All right, those are the language development theories. All right, influence of language on thought. Research has shown that those who speak different languages have distinct thought patterns. Language both determines and limits how we experience and view the world. Language is one medium that allows for the development of meaningful social connections and empathy. So you can see that language influences thought and thought influences language. But pay attention now. The Worfian linguistic relativity hypothesis says that the, the way we view and interpret the world is created by language. So in the Worfian linguistic hypothesis, this is all we get right here. Language influences thought. 
in the Worf and Linguistic Hypothesis, thought does not influence language. In the Worf and Linguistic Hypothesis, this is the only route we're going down. Language influences thought. That's the Worfian linguistic relativity hypothesis. The land with which we view and interpret the world is created by language. And, you know, there's, there's some clinical relevance there because the way we use words can perpetuate social stigmas. So if you call somebody a schizophrenic, that has a very negative connotation associated with it, schizophrenic. But if you say a person diagnosed with schizophrenia, that has a more positive uh, uh, connotation associated with it. And so the way we use words matter. Okay. All right. So the neural basis.